level nine or level 19. These are two different levels that we currently consider the meta in step in. Whenever you get to either of these levels, you're going to face a big decision because it's probably going to cost you a few days of earnings in order to upgrade. For level 10, it is 30 GST and 30 GMT. And for level 20, it is 60 GST and 60 GMT. So in today's video, we're going to break down both of these levels and set away once and for all, which one should you upgrade to level nine or level 19 what's up guys my name is jay and welcome to bitcoin daily when i first started with stepping i was just like you guys running around like a chicken with its head cut off not knowing which way to go or what to do so after going through a bunch of data talking to a bunch of people and making a ton of mistakes I'm here to show you guys everything that I know so that you avoid doing all the mistakes that I made. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you guys have watched my previous video, Step In Fastest Return on an Investment Strategy, then you know that the fastest current ROI, if you wanna break even as fast as possible, is if you buy a level nine jogger. Now remember, I'm only focusing on joggers as it's right in the middle. It's the shoe most desired by the overall community. So if you use runners, you could probably get to ROI even faster than that since they earn more and they're cheaper. However, you will also remember that level nine was probably the next best bang for your buck when buying a sneaker and the difference in amount of times to break even wasn't that far apart. So the question became, what level shoe should you start with, a level nine or a level 19? So of course, I broke all the numbers down for you guys. I like to visualize it in an Excel spreadsheet. So in these two scenarios, we're going to assume that one person bought a level nine sneaker the other person bought a level 19 sneaker. I looked for sneakers as close to floor prices as possible with decent base stats. So the level nine is sitting around 14.35. The level 19 is sitting around 25 sold. So if you divide it by GST, the current prices are 271 for the level nine and 472 for the level 19. So the level nine sneaker has 36 efficiency. It's earning 11.1 .1 GST per day. The repair costs are at around 2.05, which gives us a net daily earnings of 9.05 per day. On the other side of things, the level 19 has 72 efficiency, 15.7 daily earnings per day, minus the 2.4 repair costs, puts it at 13.3 net daily earnings per day in GST. So as these two are off to the races, you can see I highlighted exactly where both of them hit the break even mark. On the level nine shoe, you're breaking even on day 30, where you hit 271.5 GST earn. Remember what we needed was 271.39. So we actually break into profit on that day. On the other side of things, it takes 36 days for the level 19 sneaker to break even. You see that on day 36, we hit 478.8 and our break even price is 472.81. So what we did is just continued it for an extra 30 days just to see the gap between the both of them. So on day 60, the level nine sneaker had earned 543 GST overall, while the level 19 sneaker had earned 798 GST overall. So on day 60, the level nine shoe actually doubles your investment. So you make a 100% return profit on your upfront investment by day 60 on the level nine shoe. On the level 19 sneaker by day 60, you've made a 69% profit on your upfront investment. So although the level nine has a higher profit percentage by day 60, the level 19 clearly outperforms by day 60 as it makes 47% more GST within the 60 day period. So what this decision comes down to on your starting sneaker is whether or not you have the upfront capital to pretty much spend around $1,000 more to get to a level 19 sneaker versus starting at a level nine sneaker. Cause even though the level nine gets you to ROI a lot faster, 
the level 19 is not far behind. So in this next example, we're gonna take a look at two different case scenarios now. Since level nine sneakers are cheaper, I think it's more common that a lot more people will end up starting there. So if you're one of those guys that start at the level nine sneaker, now there's another choice. Do you level up with your earnings to level 19 or do you stay at level nine? So in this scenario, what we're doing is using the same sneaker, but in one scenario, we're assuming there's no upgrades. In the second scenario, we're assuming that we're upgrading every time that we have the amount of GST available from what we've earned. So on the left, we have the sneaker that we're not upgrading at all. We're just cashing in until we hit break even. And you can see that it takes exactly 30 days here. On day 30, we're breaking even with our level nine sneaker that we did not upgrade. Now, if we take a look at the same scenario, except now we're upgrading every time that we have the funds available, you will see that it will take five days before we can get that level 10 upgrade because remember, it's 30 GST and 30 GMT. The next day, we get up to 11. On days 8, 9, and 10, we're able to hit 12, 13, and 14. Two weeks in, we're able to hit level 17. And by the 17th day, we're able to finally hit level 19. So basically, on day 17, we're only at 4 GST earned because we've spent everything else. And on the same day, on a level 9 sneaker that's not upgrading, they would have 153 GST earned. So on day 30, when the level nine sneaker hits break even, we are still not at break even, but we have stacked 176.9 GST by then. And if we continue down, you will see that only about a week later on day 38, we're able to finally break even on our investment. So on the day that we break even, the level nine sneaker has 343.9 GST earned versus our 283.3. Now, if we continue down to see how many days it actually takes before the level 19 sneaker overtakes the level nine sneaker, you will see that that happens on day 53. On day 53, the level nine sneaker is at 479, while the level 19 upgraded sneaker is at 482. So by the day you hit the second month, the level 19 sneaker has already taken off and you just continue down to the third month, you will see the difference 814 GST versus 974.9 GST. And that gap just continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So again, it comes down to how much of a difference does that extra week before getting your break even make to you? How important is that to you? Because in the longer term, level 19 is definitely better than staying at level nine. Now, the scenario where that can change is if you're trying to get to maybe three sneakers as fast as possible. All right, guys, so this is the last scenario that we're going to do. In this one, we're going to be assuming that again, we're starting off at one level nine sneaker in both scenarios. One level nine is not going to upgrade and is only focusing on getting to three sneakers as fast as possible. The second level nine sneaker is going to upgrade all the way to level 19 and then try to get to three sneakers as fast as possible. Now, before I show you which of these get to three sneakers faster, make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you guys love making money in crypto through play to earn, move to earn, trading, passive income, or maybe you just wanna stay up to date with the latest crypto trends, then smash that subscribe button. I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So make sure to subscribe to never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto again. In addition to that, I try to answer every single DM that I get on Instagram, and I also try to answer all the comments that I get on the YouTube channel. So leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding anything in this video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter where we're giving out activation codes almost daily. Last week, we gave away 13 activation codes. So make sure to follow us on Twitter. So as I've been making this video, the prices have changed a little bit. So bear with me. Now the GST break even price for these examples are going to be at 286 versus 271 when we first started this video. So this shows you how fast numbers can change due to price fluctuations in a the market. These numbers will always be different 
from the time that I make this video to the time that you watch this video. So this is just to give you a basic idea. All right, so here we go. So on the left side, we are not upgrading at all. We're keeping it level nine and going straight for three shoes. On the right side, we're starting off at level nine as well, but we're upgrading to level 19 and then going to three shoes. So as we start, you can see right away the first one to hit a second sneaker is indeed the level nine that has not upgraded. By day 32, he's hitting break even, using that money to buy a second sneaker. The second sneaker, we're making sure that it has one mint only, and we're assuming that the first sneaker has two mints because two mints will be cheaper than one mint. So next, let's see what happens with the shoe on the right scenario that upgraded from nine to 19. So you can see that not far after, actually only one week later on day 39, we're able to hit break even to get that second shoe with one mint on it. So now both scenarios on day 39, we both have a two mint shoe and a one mint shoe. Now what we're going to do is save up to mint the two shoes together and get that third shoe, which gets us of course to three and doubles up our energy. So now what we're going to do here to figure this out, we're going to assume, I know that we now we have a dynamic mint cost, but we're going to just assume that the mint cost is 125 GST, 125 GMT. So those two together brings the total of the mint cost in GST to 193.65. So that's the number that we're going to aim for. So as we continue down, you will see something very interesting indeed. Both of the shoes are able to mint on the same day to get that third sneaker. So on day 54, the level nine shoe mints and gets its third sneaker. And on day 54, the level 19 shoe mints and gets its third sneaker. So now we update the earnings for that. You can see that the level nine with three sneakers now earning 18.1 per day, while the level 19 with three sneakers is earning 26.6 per day. Stretch that out until day 90 here, just so that we can get an idea of how big the gap becomes and how quickly. You can see that by day 90, the level nine three sneaker scenario has accumulated 651 GST, while the level 19 three sneaker scenario has accumulated 957.6 GST. And the crazy thing is that by day 90, the level 19 three sneaker scenario has again outgained the level nine sneaker by 47%. So now to sum it up, if you're debating between a level nine or at level 19 to start, you can see that days to break even is almost alike. It's only basically a seven day, one week difference. And in the long term, level 19 wins by a lot. Now, the only con about a level 19 is that it comes with a heftier price tag. You might need to pay up maybe around a thousand dollars more than for a level nine. So if you don't have that extra thousand dollars, you just want to start out at level nine, then your next question will be, okay, should I just stay at level nine and recoup my investment or should I level up to level 19 and then recoup my investment? So again, when we broke it down, it was about 30 days to recoup your investment on a level nine if you did not upgrade and 38 days to recoup your investment if you did upgrade to level 19. By day 53, the level 19 sneaker surpasses the level nine sneaker. And by day 90, you can see that the level 19 sneaker is now far and beyond what the level nine sneaker is making at that point. So if you were to ask me, should you level up or not for a seven day difference? Yes, I am definitely going to be recommending to level up to level 19. One week is not really going to make much of a difference. If you can survive a month, I'm sure you can survive one extra week. Then the final scenario, the final question is, should I just stay at level nine and get to three sneakers as soon as possible? Or should I get my level nine sneaker upgraded up to level 19 and then get to three sneakers as soon as possible? So looking at the numbers, it'll take you about 32 days to get your 
second sneaker and about 39 days to get your second sneaker on the level 19. So after running the numbers on the level nine sneaker, it'll take you about 32 days to get to your second sneaker. And on the level nine that we upgrade to level 19, it'll take you about 39 days to get to your second sneaker. So again, it's only a seven day difference. And then to get to our third sneaker, which we are minting, it takes both scenarios the same amount of time, which is 54 days. And then if you play it out for another month, the scenario where you upgraded first to level 19 before getting your three sneakers outperforms the scenario where you just stayed at level nine to get to three sneakers by 47%. So again, the winner in this round is level 19. Now that I've run the numbers, I don't think there's any reason for anyone to stay at level nine. The only reason to stay at level nine is to get to break even as fast as possible, but does a week really make a big difference to you? That's what you're going to have to decide. So we've gone over all the numbers, we've gone over several different scenarios, and the winner of this debate seems to be clear to me. The winner between level nine and level 19 is level 19. Leveling up to level 19 is by far the superior strategy, whether you start at level 19 or you buy a level nine and upgrade as soon as possible to level 19, then upgrade as soon as possible to three sneakers. Level 19 wins time and time again. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I put a lot of time and effort into this. Don't forget that on May 25th, I am doing a live meetup event in Miami, Florida. It is officially the first step in live event in the United States. So I'm hoping to see all of you guys there and meet a bunch of you. I've created some really sick t-shirts to give out. We'll have music, refreshments, and we'll even be giving away some GST to a few lucky winners. If you guys are new to Step In, don't forget to check all the other guides that I have created already for you guys. If you click on playlist and click on the Step In guide playlist, you will see every single guide that I have created for you guys right here. This will literally take you from knowing nothing about Step In to being a Step In expert. You will know everything that I know. If you still need an activation code, don't forget to go to the Twitter, Bitcoin X Daily. We are giving away activation codes every day. Last week, we gave away 13 activation codes. This week, we will be doing more of the same. And if any of you guys want to donate your activation codes, just send me a DM with the activation codes so that we can give it away. And last but not least, every Saturday morning, we are now doing a Step In Community podcast. We will be doing this on James Work's Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash James Work. We will be going live every Saturday morning around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or after the end of the weekly AMAs. So make sure to tune in and check us out there as well. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.